this week I caked a giant O. Henry bar. A lot of you put in the comments of the bounty bar video that that was a chocolate bar you wanted to see. He consists of crunchy peanuts. This is like his Tinder profile. Crunchy peanuts, <laughs> chewy fudge, creamy caramel, covered in a chocolatey coating. I can't stop staring at it, guys. It's still there. O. Henry is taking my breath away right now. Are you ready? So the first thing I did was bake my peanut butter cake in a rectangular pan, 11 by 15, just because I wanted a nice big slab of cake. And I'm gonna use an oval cutter, just like my circle cutters, I have an oval set, to cut ovals out of the cake. And this is because I'm going to line them all up on their sides. Because in the O. Henry, I don't know what you call it, the fudge is like, like a little cylinder of fudge. And now I have all these perfect little peanut butter cake ovals, which I am going to soak and shower with my simple syrup. Guys, Orhan isn't here today. I'm talking to him through the phone. I think he had his own Tinder date. You're missing out on the O. Henry cake. The simple syrup is soaking into my ovals and now I'm going to flavor some Italian meringue buttercream. So I had the bright idea that I was going to melt some of the same caramels I'm gonna use for the caramel in the O. Henry and add it to buttercream to flavor my buttercream caramel flavor right? Because I want to stay in the same O. Henry flavor profile. Orhan, I wish you were here. So I melted, I slowly melted the caramels in a pot and then poured the caramel in. When I tell you okay. that the caramel retained so much heat that the buttercream just like melted, it just like hardened in the buttercream. Yeah. Man! Caramel was like a wad of chewing gum. Like it was all like congealed together and they were just not whisking together at all. Off camera, what I did was I went into the prep kitchen and I decided to cool. No, I didn't cry. I was very good yesterday. And I melted the whole thing. Like I melted the caramel with the melted buttercream, right? So then the buttercream softened up the caramel. I whisked it all together. I strained it. And then I had this more liquidy, but definitely caramel mixture. And then I poured that into the rest of my buttercream and flavored it. So it worked. And now I'm going to sandwich together all of these ovals until it's the length of the O. Henry. Can I tell you something else that happened, Orhan? You want cake drama? You came to the right place. We don't have a lot of cake boards right now. I only had one large size square cake board left. So I had to build the cake diagonally on a board, but it's okay. I didn't cry. Yes, 10 points. <laughs> Oh, that's the drama? That was the drama. I know, it's it's less dramatic when I'm telling you. I'm going to make my peanut butter truffles. It's just icing sugar, peanut butter, salt, vanilla, and then melted butter, and you whisk it all together. It is a bit crumbly. It seems like it's not gonna come together, but when you squeeze it together, it absolutely holds together. I'm also gonna cut them in half so they kind of look like peanut halves. And the great thing about O. Henry is it certainly does not look like a perfect chocolate bar. Sorry, Henry, I love your imperfection. Then I'll put them in the fridge so they can set up. You could even make these truffles and just cover them in the compound chocolate. Really simple, I'll put the recipe below, and let me tell you they're so delicious. You know what we left out of the video? Me, Helena, and Shuchi unwrapping all of these caramels. <laughs> this time when I melt the caramels, I'm going to do the same thing as before, slowly, low heat, but as it starts to melt, I'm actually gonna mix in some clear corn syrup. This caramel, believe it or not, when it sets back up, it sets up really hard, and I wanna make sure that the caramel, once it's poured over the cake, is not so hard that I can't cut the cake. So here's some more cake drama, Orhan. At first, I was gonna pour the caramel on the cake. And caramel's really hot, so unlike chocolate, I can't just sort of pick it back up and put it back on the cake. And my idea was, I'll pick up the mat, fold it over the cake, and peel the mat off. This was my bright idea. Yay. Sounds That's good, right? Idea. Doesn't it sound good? No, it wasn't a good idea. It didn't work out the way I wanted it to. The caramel is so sticky, oh. Orhan, that it's stuck to the mat. Oh boy, oh boy, this is, I don't know what I thought I could do. Why did I think this was an option? I am the craziest person at this not gonna work. It's not gonna work, it's not gonna work, no. I used a spatula to separate the caramel from the mat and peel the mat off. But when I was done, the whole cake was not covered. 
save all that extra caramel, remelt it, and then what I did is I poured it into a measuring tape and poured it over the cake, which worked. And because half of it was, I said measuring tape. I cannot be trusted. I poured it over the cake. You gotta make sure to cut away the excess caramel. Sounds like you're just wrestling with it. I was. I was wrestling with Henry the whole way. He was being quite difficult. Wait till you hear what happens at the end. What do you hear what Henry does to me at the end? And I still didn't cry. So now I have the whole cake covered in caramel. I'm gonna make sure to keep the extra caramel in the measuring cup because I'll need it to glue on my giant peanuts. I'm gonna use a small spatula to just sort of pat on a little bit of caramel everywhere I wanna add my peanut truffles that look like peanut halves. And I'm just gonna have at it. And I'm just gonna place it in the fridge to make sure all of the caramel truly sets and those peanut truffles are also firm because the last thing I want is for the caramel to be warm at all and continue running and pull those peanuts down. So I need to make sure this whole thing is set before I cover it in chocolate. So first, as you know, I have to cover the bottom of the chocolate bar. So just the cold from the cake sitting on the chocolate starts to really set up the chocolate. Now, I should measure I should measure. See what I'm saying about my brain? I should mention, I always want the chocolate to match, so I covered this in mostly milk compound chocolate, but I did add in a bit of dark. Maybe a quarter of the amount of chocolate was dark. So now I'm gonna pour this big bowl of melted compound chocolate into a big measuring cup and it's time to pour over the O'Henry. Now, I knew this would be hard because of the nooks and crannies. I did my best, I covered the whole bar. You wanna see me wrestle with O'Henry? Wait till you see this part. So there wasn't enough chocolate, so I had to lift the rack to scrape the excess out from underneath, and as I lifted it, Henry just slid down the rack and hit the side of the tray. Oh my God, oh! He was totally trying to get away from me. He is not the perfect Tinder date. I should have I should have picked Bounty or Twix. So then I ended up having to patch, but like I mentioned before, because the cake is cold and now you can see chocolate overlapping itself, which is not how an O. Henry looks because it probably goes through a big, beautiful chocolate enveloping machine. So I decided I'm gonna do a second chocolate layer. Chilling the cake, I'm relaxing. I'm not crying. I melted more chocolate. This time I had plenty of chocolate. And before I recover it, I wanna make sure that I address all the streaks that you can see and all the overlapping chocolate that you can see. Pouring chocolate over that won't necessarily cover it. It might accentuate it. So what I did is I got my friend Bernadette, my blowtorch, and then I got a clean paintbrush. Mm -hmm and I just heated those areas and used the brush to smooth any lines and imperfections out. And then I poured chocolate over the entire O. Henry and I was generous. I used all the chocolate in the cup, all the chocolate in the bowl. There was so much chocolate in the bottom of the tray that I knew it would harden all as one. Don't worry about all the excess chocolate, we keep it. I let it dry on the tray, we crack it up, we put it back in it like a baggie and then we use it for something else. But now I'm gonna put the O. Henry in the fridge to chill while we set up to take pictures. I was worried that when I picked it up, it would start to crack. And guess what, Orhan? I was right. Henry cracked under pressure. That's what he did. <laughs> he couldn't handle me. And so when I picked up the O. Henry, which normally, Orhan, would make me cry, right? So I opened o, o. Henry to have alongside the giant O. Henry, and guess what? It was cracked in the middle. See that? Right. O. Henry. <sighs> Shall I cut it? Can I have a credit on this video? At the beginning, can you put like starring Yolanda Gampin at the end, directed by, mm -hmm. can you do that? Interrupted by Helena. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah, it's my job. I know. Oh my. Oh, this feels like cutting a giant O. Henry. Okay, are you ready? Sorry, mm -hmm. peanuts, move over. One, two, three. O. Henry. Okay guys, I have a very important question to ask because O. Henry was your request. What is the next chocolate bar on Yolanda's list? There's been Twix, Bounty, O. Henry. Who should it be? Who should it be? I just wanna say thank you for this suggestion. I love O. Henry and I love O. Henry cake even more. And I will see you next week. And this cake will no longer be here. Thank you.